Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. So yeah, I'm learning geometry nodes and I'm really starting to get it and love it a lot. Uh, so the, here is a river generator I created uh, which you can uh, adjust the radius. If I pause it for a bit here. Put it at a radius of two, very small river. And then uh, we can even put it at a radius of 30 to make it a very wide river. I have a lot of curves in here, so let me just uh, uh, stick to one, uh, just remove everything. It's based on a, a curve object, so if you are in edit mode of that curve, you can easily draw using the draw tool, and I should be able to draw the curve. I think it's too wide, so let me put it at around 10, and uh, maybe just have the bank with it also to 10. So you can adjust the bank width, you can also adjust uh, the river itself, the width of the river, and uh, the water is animated, as you can see, uh, yeah, so it flows in the direction of the curve, and uh, you can still edit the curve and uh, adjust things. All these can be downloaded on the Planner Everything page. I'm, I'm going to try and uh, up upload as, ma as many geometry generators as I go, because I found that uh, uh, using generators, geometry generators kind of speeds up your work uh, quite a lot, and you'll see me do... I uh, use these generators a lot in my videos and live streams as we go. Uh, but uh, you can see, it's, uh, you can adjust a few things. You can uh, change the density of the rocks, uh, the density of the grass. You should also be able to change uh, the grass assets. Uh, I use very, something very simple here, but you can be able you should be able to change that uh, it's actually a setting i should expose uh basically and uh if you know some geometry nodes you can come in here and even add more customization i wanted to just keep it very simple and uh, keep the main settings or the main parameters exposed and uh, just let the others if the let uh, the the small uh modifications that you might want to uh, just do them inside here if you know how to use geometry nodes. But uh, one thing, one other thing I could I could expose is the, the assets that are being used. For example, if you want to change the grass assets, I uh, you should that should be a main setting. And uh, this is uh, I guess the grass ob the stone object. So I just expose that and uh, let me just expose that. Uh, so you can change the the stone asset uh, to something different if you if you prefer. And I'm also going to do that for the grass so that you can uh, do that. Uh, so the, to download this, you just have to go to uh, Blender Everything. Uh, Blender Everything. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. You can see there is a section for free geometries. Uh, there's also a section for free models and free software. Okay, so when you give out things for free that you should be selling, you need to make your money somewhere else. So allow me to introduce you to Cinematic Lighting in Blender, a comprehensive course by Creative Shrimp, teaching you how to do cinematic lighting in Blender. That is a six hour course uh, that offers a step-by-step -step guide for setting up cinematic lighting in Blender. Again, I'll be posting more Geometry Nodes stuff uh, if you are interested in that. Uh, so see you later. Thank you.